Well, hello everybody, BugEater64 here, and today we're going to be flying in X-Plane 12, and we're going to be flying the X-Hanger C-130. Now this is model L-100-30, and this is their glass cockpit uh, version of the aircraft, and we're going to be flying from uh, Dallas-Fort Worth to Greenville-Spartanburg International in upstate South Carolina. So, we're going to, no passengers on board, we're just going to be carrying cargo. Uh, and it is an FS Airlines flight, and that's why we're not carrying any passengers, because with this particular cargo plane, uh, they don't accept passengers. I don't know, we carried quite a few passengers when I was active duty military, but that's the way it is. So, but we're just going to have a nice, fun flight. Now, the one thing... This, the weather is going to be total crap. Yep, what can I say? It's just going to be ugly. We're going to have uh, th lots of rain, lightning, uh, thunderstorms. So it should make for a fun flight. So with that, let's get inside the cockpit. Let's get things going and let's get to Greenville. See you inside. Okay, well, <laughs> oh, hello, lightning. Here we are, Dallas Fort Worth, uh, getting ready to do a flight from uh, here to KGSP, which is Greenville Spartanburg International Airport. And uh, it should take about three hours to get there. We are going to be flying in X Plane 12, and we are flying X Hangers C 130, which is pretty neat aircraft. It's an older aircraft, but it's been updated to be used in X-Plane 12. So we're going to do that, and you can tell by the green just how big, how much weather we've got going on here. It is raining, there's thunder, there's lightning, and this is going to be quite a fun flight. We're going to be, it's also an FS Airlines flight, so we won't be carrying passengers because in FS Airlines the C-130 is not an aircraft you can carry passengers. Although in my military days we carried a lot of people in C-130s. But we will be carrying cargo. So with that we're in the cockpit now. This is an updated version with the glass cockpit. So we will get things going here. Let's check the controls. Now this is the L100-30, so it is the glass cockpit. Alright, check everything up here. And we'll go ahead and, let's see, get the battery on. And then once we get the battery on, we will get the APU up and running. And the APU is coming on. Get everything set up here for our electricals. Okay. So APU is running been a while so I'm just going to double check my gauges and switches and then we'll go ahead and we'll step down and turn on all our fuel as you can see uh, flight plan calls for a, a need of 
about uh, 11,000 pounds of fuel for this flight. I put in, as you can see in the center there, 13,250 basically. So we're, we should have plenty. I uh, put a lot of it, or a couple thousand pounds extra because of the weather. And look at that. We are surrounded by storms. Lots and lots of rain. Yep. Okay. And we're going to be flying at 12,000 feet. Uh, heading is set at yeah, 147 right now. Let's go ahead and put the flight director to auto. Okay. I'm going to do a, a climb speed of a, between 5 and 800. Uh, again, it'll depend partly on the storms and we want to try and keep it under 250 knots uh, below 10,000 feet after that uh, we can give this girl all she can take alright so with that let's check things okay that should pop back because I've got it set up. Alright, so this is all looking pretty good. Now we need a pushback to get us away from these ramp these uh passenger ramps. So we're gonna try to use Hey Captain, let me know where you want this thing. See if we can get her pushed back. I just need to go straight back. Great news, Captain. Your toe's coming. Okay, that's good to hear. Now, we've had problems in X-Plane 12 now with the uh, pushback system. Basically, it hasn't worked. And I'm not sure it's going to work this time. In Microsoft, I was able to download a brand new version of it. Uh... Pushback Pro, and uh, it did work, although it wasn't showing the tug. And here we can see that the tug uh, is coming. But it wouldn't let me pro program the pushback. So I want to see if I can just get it to push me straight back. Okay, so we've got our flight plan in. That's all set to go. Listen to the weather. Oh my goodness. All right. Looks like the doors and hatches are closed and we're ready to connect. All right, very good. So connect us up and get us moving. Down the lower left there, you can just see the uh, the tug in place. But it is not letting me start the pushback. Hmm, may have to do this another method. Yeah, and you can see on the upper left where I did use a, uh, another method using the map. <laughs> the Sims map and actually highlight it and then you can move the airplane anywhere you want. So that's what we ended up doing. And we're disconnecting the yeah. toe. Give me just a moment. Go away, you're completely useless to me. 
And I, I mean, I could have in the C-130, the one thing you can do is you could actually have the engines running and put them in reverse thrust and you can back the aircraft up. But that puts extra wear and tear on the motors and I didn't really want to do that. So with that, we've got the aircraft in position now. Check our throttle controls and our mixtures alright so let's go ahead and get things going here let's start these engines so conditioners are set let's start a fuel pump engine one and start her up In my external view in the upper left hand corner you can see periodic you'll see like a flash. That's the lightning. It really brightens things up. Okay, nose wheel steering is on now. Let's go with start engine two. And it looks like we've got a good start there. It's spooling up nicely. Engine three. Lightning off in the distance. Yep, it's a stormy day. And finally, engine four. Okay, so we got four good engines running. Now the weather radar that is horrible. Just look at that. My goodness. So, engines are running, everything's looking good. Let's get some lights on, I think. Dab lights on. Don't need the strobe right now. Turn our taxi lights on. Okay, and we're going to turn the wipers on a little bit here. On the ground we need them, but once I'm in the air, I don't really need the wipers. So, everything's looking good here. We're going to set the range. It's 
our flight plan. Let's go back to. I like to have my weather radar visible so I know what I'm getting into. Alright, so. And it is raining really well. set up and ready. Let's get started and let's uh, start our taxi and get down to the end of the runway. So we can Okay, so pull up here to the whole short line and we'll finish prepping for takeoff. Okay, fuel systems are all good. Since we're here, we'll go ahead and uh, shut down our APU. Sometimes finding the proper click switch location can sometimes give me a bit of a headache. Come on. That's run. Come on, give me the upside so I can turn you off. All right, let's do it this way. We'll turn you off here. And then we'll come back up to the top. Come on now. Don't fight me. Turn off the bleed air. Oh, there we go. All right. So, with that, Runway, flaps are at 15.
three, six, right. All right. Conditioners to full. They look ready to go. Lights are on. Pedos on. Okay, so and let's run them up. Brakes released. Eighty knots. One hundred. V one. Rotate. Everything's looking good here. Good, good climb rate. And it's about 800 feet a minute. As we start to head into the clouds. So with that, let's get ready to hurry up and get to Greenville where the weather's not going to be much better yeah, get rid of the clutter there so we can see what we're doing get a penalty here because we're over 250 knots below 10,000 but I'll live with it as long as the plane's not crashing. All right so as you can see in the lower left I turned on my GTN 750. I turned off the autopilot. The aircraft is mine now. That's the Greenville International Airport straight ahead, and we're going to 
start to get ready to move into approach. And you can see my low fuel warning light is on. But we've got plenty of fuel left right now, just over 2,000 pounds. So we're making a turn to get on our downwind leg. Now in downwind, go beyond the airport and make a turn on our base leg. slow turn around to base and then on to final gear is down. Flap set to 20. Flaps to 40. We're a little bit high, but we've got a good approach speed. It's not raining here right now. Okay, flaps 100%. Full flaps. Look at that, using the reverses lifts that tail end right up there. No wonder it didn't want to stay on the runway. Oh my goodness, that was something new and different. I spent a lot of little hours in the C-130 when I was in the military, my old days. And I've never seen 
it lift its tail up like that when reversers were employed. But it just makes life more interesting. Okay, so flaps retracted back to the full up position. Let's get off the runway and head on down to parking. All in all, not a bad flight at all, considering the weather. Yeah, I'd like to welcome you all to Greenville Spartanburg International Airport. Okay, so we're going to move down here. There's a general parking area over here by the tower. And we're just going to pull in there. Yeah, it was raining here not too long ago. There's still puddles on the ground. That's the fire station over to the left there. So we're just going to pull up here and park and we'll sh shut her down. Till next time. All right, well, there you have it. Flight completed, money made, and we're all in one piece. <laughs> so, as I said, plenty of rain, wind, and storms. But all in all, not a bad flight at all. I'm happy with it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, had a lot of fun, as always. And with that, until next time, this is Bug Eater 64 And remember... 
as always, safe flying!